Hey guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. In this video, we are going to replace the camera glass, a broken camera glass on the Pixel 6. We will start by hitting the area where the camera glass is broken, the whole area where we have the camera glass, and then we are going to use our tool to go under the camera glass, especially between the camera glass and the frame of the device. The difficulty of all these camera glass replacement is to avoid having too much dust created by cracking glass. This is the most challenging part of this repair. Obviously, we need to be very careful while inserting our tool between the glass and the frame of the device because a bad movement striking one of the cameras can result in a permanent damage. As soon as I started removing the piece of glass I noticed the difference. Google had used a lot of double sided tape between the camera and the frame of the device. This is really thick and strong double sided tape. This is very good for water resistance and the overall protection of the cameras but from a repair aspect this is really difficult and it creates a lot of dust while cracking the glass due to the rectangular design of the camera glass itself. The removal process is not very difficult. You need to have a sharp metal tool like the one that I'm using. This is a scalpel that I bought from Amazon. The repair kit comes with the new double sided tape and the camera glass replacement. So the tool that you're going to use is depending on you and you can use any sharp tool that you have and you may even use a knife if it is really small. The damage on this camera glass was mainly around the flashlight area. Above the camera there was only a hairline crack. Also to remove the cracked glass directly above the cameras you need to be very careful. Insert your tool in the area where you are directly above or in contact with the frame of the device. Make sure that you do not touch the cameras while moving along and make sure that you keep applying some upward pressure in order to avoid any contact with the cameras. For this type of damage we can be reassured that there was a minimum contact between the dust created by cracking the glass and the cameras the cameras are safe 90% of the time. This is very important. You need to test the cameras, the video feature, everything, all the lens of the cameras before you install the new camera glass. You're going to be assured that your cameras are functional, working, and you do not need to buy or replace either of these cameras. After testing the cameras, we need to clean the area where we're going to install the new camera glass. Use your tools to remove the remaining double-sided tape stuck on the back of the frame of the device. After after everything has been cleaned, we are ready to install the new double-sided tape and install the new camera glass. Before installation of the double-sided tape, I noticed something very strange. On the double-sided tape, the cutout below the cameras is there, but there is no sensor for it. I think the cutout should be at the top above the cameras. That is very strange coming from the seller of this camera glass, and I'm not sure if this is right or wrong, because there were no way to check it on the original double-sided tape that came with the back glass that we removed. And very strange also on the Pixel 6 Pro, I had the same thing. The cutout was at the bottom of the double sided tape and not above the camera's cutout. After installation of the double sided tape and applying a little bit of pressure on it for it to stick more, we are ready to install the new camera glass. And like I was saying, the cutout at the bottom of the cameras should be at the top because we have an infrared sensor at the top of the cameras. For the installation, the place where we are going to install the camera glass is square. The camera glass is square also. For the installation, start at the far left or far right of the rectangle and then start applying some pressure with your fingers. Make sure that you checked all the four corners to make sure that the camera glass is fully seated, no misalignment and nothing unusual you can spot. After that, you can clean the camera glass and make sure everything is clean and shiny. Then the final step is to test the cameras. Make sure the pictures, the videos, everything is clean, sharp and you do not have any issues. Subscribe and I will see you next time.